Hey, everybody. Um, my name is Rafael Crandall, and um, I'm going to be a senior next semester at the University of Missouri St. Louis. And over the summer, I had my first internship with uh, TC Graphing, which is the tennis club um, in my hometown in Graphing. So my role, roles and duties during this internship were mainly giving tennis lessons to a variety of people, um, from small kids to adults, um, maintaining the courts, which means like um, making sure that the lines like kind of stay in the clay and don't um, pop up pop up whenever it's raining or also watering the courts whenever it's really hot and other things. And I also traveled with the teams of the club um, to different matches, kind of to coach and to help them. And yeah. Um, the established goals I had for my internship were kind of improving my, my teaching skills my tennis teaching skills, um, connecting to a lot of um, coaches, different coaches, or also like other players, and um, yeah, just talking to different to different personalities, um, to meet a lot of people, to kind of learn how to um, yeah, like act or or talk to um, different personalities in uh, different age groups. Um, I would say I. Yeah, achieved a lot of my goals during the summer because um, I learned a lot of new things. Like, for example, Tennis Express, which was like a workshop where I kind of learned how to teach people tennis, like only in a few hours. It's mainly for like adults who have not a lot of time um, because of work. So it's kind of like a crash course where you, um, yeah, like teach them only in a few hours uh, the game of tennis. I also met uh, new players and coach while traveling with the team. Um, it's like kind of the league where it was very close to my hometown. So um, like I knew also a lot of people, but um, like they never knew that I was coaching or that I'm coaching right now. So yeah. And also I had like many left sons with like kids, with, like adults, which was in the beginning very strange because um, like being a young coach and then meeting like adults and trying to teach them new things is always, in my opinion, like kind of hard, but um, yeah. Um, what did I learn during my, my uh, internship was mainly the Tennis Express where I had like a workshop. Um, the head coach of our team like teach me how to do the Ballschule, which means like um, teaching very young kids, not really tennis, but kind of connecting them to the ball and playing games with them with a ball, trying to catch a ball like kind of with a cone and um, all the things. And also what I think helped me a lot was talking to children and talking to adults because um, especially children's are very shy in the beginning. So you have to be very nice, like kind of stay always calm and try to connect to them, that they listen to the uh, to you and that they like you and that they kind of feel comfortable um, with you around you. And also, as I mentioned before, talking to adults, um, just um, teaching people like things you're probably better in, but I mean, they have more experience, they, they are older. So um, for me in the beginning, it was very hard, but um, yeah, it was not a big problem in the end. Um, the biggest takeaways I would say I got during this internship are my talking skills, like just um, talking to strangers, talking to different personalities, different age groups, um, I wouldn't say I was shy before, but I always had respect to talk to to strangers because I never know like how their personality is and how to react. But I would say this internship helped me a lot. Um, yeah, to to be uh, to be more chill with it, and also the connection that I I got during the matches, um, meeting the coaches who sometimes I knew from from. 
from a younger age, but like they didn't know that I was coaching or um, yeah, like just the connection I got. Uh, I think they're going to help me a lot uh, in my future if I want to, to keep uh, coaching. What growth have you had? Um, as I mentioned before, yeah, like just, I feel more comfortable talking to strangers. And I think it's not only something which can help in a job. Um, I think it helps me for, for the rest of my life because um, you're more chill, you, um, you're you less like nervous and and it's just much easier to have a, um, yeah, to talk to somebody where you're not nervous, where you, you're not shy. So I think um, this this helped me a lot. Um, what would you tell your younger self? Um, I would say in the beginning, everybody's friendly. Um, before doing this internship, I was very afraid that like probably adults or like older people are kind of, yeah, not mean to you, but if they see like there's a young person that they're, not that friendly, not that respectful, um, kind of complain about a lot of things. But in the end, it was completely different. They were super nice. They were very chill. Um, they talked to you like normal. They respect you. They were, yeah, it was just like a really nice atmosphere. And also, um, I would say it's okay to make mistakes. I was very afraid um, that something is not perfect, that they do something wrong. But in the end, if you like understand uh if you understand that you that you make a mistake and you're trying your best to to fix it and not do it in the future it's completely fine and fine and nobody's gonna um blame you a lot for this um my advice for incoming students would be to connect um yeah to connect to many people um just because you never know what's going to happen in your future. Like there are so many people which can help you in so many different ways. Like you never know in which shop you want to work or which help you're going to need in like three hours. So um, connecting to people will help you because I think it's going to make your, your future life easier. Um, my advice for current students would be that do the things you like and which help you for your future, like especially with this internship. Um, I took this internship because I, I really wanted to know how it is to coach, how it is to work um, with kids, with adults. And probably there are some people who said, yeah, like we have to do an internship, so I'm just going to do something to to get it done. But um, my advice would be like, just do the things you want, you like, and which gonna improve, improve your life or which gonna make something in your future easier. Um, yeah. Um, my advice about the program and the courses would be that take advantage of the opportunities. Um, doesn't matter if it's gonna be the uh, opportunities, opportunities Dr. B gives us, um, or the opp opportunities um, the sport management program at Amstel has with like um, St. Louis City or like just being in St. Louis. We have the we have the baseball team, we have the Cardinals, we have the uh, St. Louis Blues. There are so many opportunities. So um, take advantage of it and don't be afraid to um, reach out to somebody. Also take the classes you like and in which you're interested in. Um, I have the feeling in sport management, there are not that many required classes we have. So we have a lot of um, opportunities or options. So um, probably don't take the easiest ones, but just take the ones you're interested in, which gonna help you just in the future. Um, I don't know. Um, I think if you just take one class, it's going to be a waste of time. Um, but if you learn something new, you're interested in, first of all, it's uh, so much easier to, to learn it or, and also it just helps you for your future. And also an advice would be that you should connect with guest speakers.
Um, it's we have so many guest speakers. They are all working um, in the sport industry. A lot of them are close to the St. Louis area, especially if you if you um, want to stay in Missouri. Um, you have so many possibilities um, if you connect to them because they like each person you connect with has met, has many other connections. So, um, yeah, if you connect with them, they can help you in, in a var variety of different things. Um, the conclusion of my internship would be that I really like my internship. It was awesome because I was able to, um, do my internship, but also, um, combine it with my favorite sport. Um, I was able to see many different people I knew already before, but um, they knew me as like a player or they knew me as like a part of the tennis club, but they never thought that I am able to coach or to to work for, for the tennis club. Um, I also learned a lot of new skills. For example, as I mentioned, the Tennis Express, the Ballschule. Um, I also... Like after the internship, I'm gonna do like a, a tennis coach license, which um, also kind of um, improve my my teaching skills. So um, yeah, after the internship, I knew um, I like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with it, and um, yeah, just um, keep like. I'm, I, I want to keep coaching. I don't know in which way, but yeah. And I also connected to many different people. Like, as I mentioned in the matches, I um, learned a lot of new coaches. And also I was able to to speak to two different people who were like in the, in the tennis business around, around my hometown. Um, as I mentioned before, there are so many coaches I talked already before, like before going to the U.S., but they always saw me like as a as a player, as somebody who likes tennis, but just plays it. And they never thought um, I'm going to be coaching or I'm going to going to coach in the future. And yeah, also a conclusion I would have in the end is that I think I don't want to be like a, a club tennis coach in my future, but I really had fun during this internship. So I think um, I'm going to keep going with it, especially in the time during the summer break, during the winter break um, at home, just to give a little bit, le uh, some lessons to, yeah, to have like a, a little job to get some money and also to um, stay in contact with, with coaching. Thank you.